Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. In the last episode, we did the spooky, scary, haunted house and got a quest from Jeanette to go slash up some paintings at an art gallery. So we're going to go do that. Mm. Mm. That way. Gallery Noir. Hey, hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you are committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask you to vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. <laughs> your mind will shatter on the hollowness of your life. No, it can't be. I'm useless. I'm completely useless. Flowing fat will ferment your furrows. Crab nibble, this is not crab nibble. Oh, we got a crab nibble. Hey, baby. <laughs> Madness is contagious. How is my humanity? Full? Good. Mine? Lights out. Oh, do I need to use the knife? Yes. So first, can't lose Nah. Nah. And then, yeah. That whole Cain and Abel story, which will be important in the future. Blood monster! <laughs> Ow. Oh, it does aggravated damage! Ah, bad! Bad blood guardian! Become dead! Ouch. 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 Ha-ha! Holster. And go at the back. That will be important. This will be important later. He's still crying. Right. Back to see the Daughters of Janus. Actually, how much money do I have? I need to go buy some blood. It's a mesmerizing liquid, isn't it? The color, the bouquet, the form. When I was a kid, I used to wait for the snap of the rat trap. It would trickle out of the animal's face and ooze just far enough to coagulate around the cheese. A poetic death. Gross! Give me blood. Bye-bye. Rat traps don't do that anymore. Most rat traps just catch the rat nowadays. Bone rattle melodies and worm laden rain. It is raining. Looks the hops, bro. Opening the door. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away! Press, 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 press! Run! 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 Go, 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 go! Yes. You. What were you thinking? I wasn't. The museum. 
That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? I didn't know. Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others, but how dare you! I don't know what your lips are saying. Don't lie to me. Jeanette already confessed she tricked you into doing it. It was probably all Tung's idea. I'll deal with them later. But that's still no excuse for you ruining my museum. I have brought you the ghostly bobble and old words. Excellent. I'll take that. However, Jeanette claimed you did it for her. But let's say I believe you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. Eh. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the feud. Yes! The worm is wiggling. There's only one problem. If Tung gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. Mm. How might this deed be done? I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner, to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. <laughs> this is more convoluted than my psyche. I will find her, and then we finish this. I want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. Done and done. I'm not convinced these are satin. Oh, actually, no. No, that doesn't look satin either. You're full of shit! Books? No, okay. Run away! What is El Cabo? Ah! I hate that noise. <laughs> I don't know myself, and neither will you. I'll let you go this time, man. I will leave and leave you behind. <laughs> Hello. I'm terribly sorry about that. My sister was just furious about your refusal to take part in her design, so she sent those men to kill you. I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Drop by. We'll take care of this time. <laughs> She's crazy! Help! Mm -hmm. Bye bye! <laughs> I think I wait. Wait. 
brain. Greetings! Yes! You stay out of this! To think anyone would risk their life for this filthy, tainted waste of blood! This will just make it easier to kill both of you. Help! Save me and I'll help you find Bertram! I swear! Shut up, Jeanette! I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? What strange fate twists befall us? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean. You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love wow. the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence or you're dead. Wow. Uh, please continue, Ivory Princess. Had way with you. And he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter until... Shut up. Just shut up! Mm, stop it, Ivory Princess. That's right, Jeanette. No one wants to hear your lies. I was the good girl. You were the wicked one. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me. Taking care of me. You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Does the dark does the dark daughter speak truth, White Ministress? She's a control freak. Yeah, blah, blah. People, things, White emotions. Mistress. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Yes! The dark one called down the Reaper on me! Therese will never let you live. You've disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. <laughs> what of Janus, Stark daughter? I was always good to father. But Jeanette made him miserable. Over the years, it all became too much for him. I think she broke his heart. So he killed himself right in our room. Killed himself? Therese! You placed his finger on the trigger once you blew his mind all over the silly clown wallpaper. Right after he found me in your bed and thought I was you. He was always angry at you. You drove him to drink. When he died, he was in torment. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. A dark deed for the Dark Daughter, not to be believed. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little Where while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. So, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give Father? An apology? A love letter? Give me the boomstick.
I should turn this on you next, but I won't. Without Jeanette's assistance. Tung, you, you're no threat. I'll call off the feud if that will get you out of my city. This is acceptable. Oh, I didn't get the good ending. Oh well. Tung's hiding out in an abandoned oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him that one condition of a truce is that he help you. Our business, then, is finally complete. What you witnessed here, not a word to anyone. I understand. I am gone. I tried to get the good ending where they both live, but I couldn't. With It's, ve it's very hard to do at the best of times. <laughs> I have done it before. Doesn't really matter to me which one wins. Let me out! Alright. This way. Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, huh? <laughs> it festered in your brain that I looked for you. I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Nasty dude! Nasty dude? Hey, I may not be a looker, kid. But you better start showing some respect, because I could squash you like a freaking bug if my panties get all bunched up. You got it? No! Your nastiness was shown to me by the little golden ghoul! Oh shit, I'm Alcavian. And you ran into Knox, too? You guys must have had quite a conversation. Not a working brain cell between the two of you. Oh, well. <laughs> Bertram Tongue the Nasty Dude! The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. Then you know more than I do. News travels down the kindred grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <sighs> How interesting. And survive, I did. Oh, you <laughs> did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I seek a strange house of wares, oh nasty dude, for the winged one, you know. Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. Only the warm bloods infest the House of Wares? As far as I can tell. The humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. Do they know of their Dark Masters? Yeah. The Sabbat like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as... Upholding the masquerade. Can you bring me there with shoes of air and feathers? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. Mm, like the way for me when I wake tomorrow evening, your dudeness. Nighty night! <laughs> <laughs> pa, just dead. Right, let us begin.
Do 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 do. Sneaky, stealthy, sneaky, stealthy. shipment came in some pretty serious hardware yeah i heard but what the fuck we get that kind of shit in here all the time what's so different about tonight i don't know marcus is tense as a motherfucker maybe he heard something like what like i don't know but keep your fucking eyes open someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking cats you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah I hate i'm hungry oh come on Give, come here! Come here! What? Come here! Golly! Yeesh! I need to up my melee so that that doesn't happen anymore. Gimme. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I forgot to look, but I'll do it tonight. What can I pay you guys for? This is the big score, so do your goddamn job right or I'll bury you in the desert and find someone who can. It won't happen again. So I'll check the shipment tonight. Order a pizza. Where are they gonna deliver it? Thirteen abandoned warehouse full of kill on site up there in the way. I might get picked up. So sneaky. <laughs> Everyone's dead. Mine. What's that? And no one saw anything. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Stealthy, sneaky, stealthy. <laughs> do 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 oh, come on. Beep beep. Hey, you see something out there? Nope. Where? Out there in the trains. I swear I saw something moving. Ain't nothing out here. You just scared of the What? Shit. I ain't scared of nothing. You scared from whoever decides to come and get a piece of this. Hey, quit waving that thing. It's all over the place. Trying to pull us up or something? Now it's funny. Sneaky, 
Sneaky, stealthy, sneaky, stealthy! Kaboom! <laughs> the warehouse. Your handiwork, I presume? <laughs> <laughs> ah, werewolf! <laughs> Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. <laughs> are you the big bad wolf? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? I see dead people! Most. <laughs> Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. On the beach, their blood was thinner than water. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. The Baron's sister is herself, two minds, one face. Something to look forward to, eh? All I care to share. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Goodbye, wolf. And now fade to black. Hip! <laughs> Good night. Nice work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Do you know of Beckett, the noble savage? Beckett? Oh, I know of him. Why? We traded words. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. You are truly nasty delicious. Farewell. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is gonna want to hear all about this victory. The yellow submarine is waiting. We are... We all live in the other submarine. The other submarine. The other submarine. We all live in the other submarine. The other submarine. The other submarine. Let's go sell my stuff first. Hello! Goodbye. That's not ominous. 
Padoodle Pado Tado Padiddle Padiddle Hello! Thanks for coming back. What you need? Buy my things. All right, here's what we got today. So, so only five dollars. Sold, sold. Hmm. Eh. Unnecessary. Right. Let's buy some blood and then end the episode, yes? Need a fix? Yes. Give me the red sweetness. And uh, keep one empty just in case. It always stinks to find blood and then not be able to pick it up. the episode i will see you guys next time and when we come back we will get into the yellow submarine aka the taxi goodbye everybody hey this was really fun we hope you liked it too seems like we've just begun when suddenly we're through Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye, cause now it's time to go.